Hey gang, welcome back. Let's go have a little bit of fun in KC now. Messing around with these guys, like hey. Let's change our names, confuse absolutely everyone, make them think that we're running around trying to kill our own, ourselves. Changing the name so much that it seems like we're actually running around and uh, I'm attacking my own teammate. I left the alliance, I joined our enemies. But, in fact, that's not the truth. We're, I'm just changing our alliance name a lot. I got R5 tonight. I st I'm still R5. I don't know why. Whoever agreed to this is not smart. I'm a terrible R5. I usually build up my alliances to be, like, the strongest in the kingdom and then just absolutely destroy it. Uh, that's just, like, you know, history of events that have occurred. So, got a line message saying that, uh, about Sin, so gonna head take a look at that and get in on the fun. So now, this guy's convinced we left DSI. We absolutely hate this Bond 007. And now we're just going to go around and uh, mess around with this guy. This guy thinks that I'm in UTF, which used to be FTF, but then they merged with USA. So they went from the French task force in USA to the United task force. I didn't even know what was going on, so I just had to double check because I'm like acting like this. Now you got the urinary tract infection boys with the United Task Force Unified Task Force. My bad. Didn't even notice, notice that little mess up. But now we've got the UTF boys up on top. Uh, we don't have high member numbers. That's why we're not like the highest in Alliance power. However, I think we can handle ourselves. We've got three of the strongest C30 pluses in the kingdom. So we're definitely taking care of ourselves quite well. Um, really, only Bia Alliance can touch us, as well as just catching us with our bigs offline, even though we're all over the world. So we've got a pretty strong force. I like my Alliance a lot. Just got that R5, so that's nice. They're able to you know, put in some leadership ability. And take this alliance new heights. Running around now, trying to find some targets. Everyone's alliance shielded, so it's a little disappointing. But there's always someone lying around. <coughs> Time to change up the name again. Let's go over to Sin, and we're going to mess around with these guys. So I'm going to make it seem like. Uh, Trying to figure out a name that wouldn't cause too many red flags, but at the same time still be hilarious. It's quite difficult when you have such a terrible name like Beorys. I don't even know what it is. I'm sorry that if that's what your parents named you. So, change the name. You don't cause too many red flags. Alright. Now, he, uh, he sent a message under that Bia tag. So, let's go ahead and change this tag. <coughs> Make it over to the Sin Alliance. And these are two of my closest R4s. We're having a lot of fun. We absolutely hate this Bond guy. Um, ride or die, he's an awesome guy. He helps a, a lot in KVK. Not the strongest guy, but he definitely puts out a lot of force. This Bond guy... Um, He, he used to be in our lines. He's absolutely dumb. Dumber than rocks. But. No.
it definitely works out for all of us that we got rid of him. He saw that we changed our fives for a couple minutes to do something, and he thought all heck broke loose that we were all like getting rid of our current R5, which isn't even possible, but he just had to go. No one liked him. So let's go ahead and port right next to him, give him a nice little scare, kill the guy right next to him who I, I don't care about, but, you know, hopefully this guy will drop his tags just so I could drop his shield so I could go ahead and go ahead and kill him because I want him to die. Let me just tell you this. Some people are really clueless about KVK and the way things work. Um, you have two timers. One that says when kingdoms change and another that tells you when the next KVK is based on the kingdoms. And there's a timer for each kingdom. They're all the same except for in the middle of the KVK. Like if some have finished and some are still going on. Uh, we got Gonorrhea over there. The guy, cool guy, pisses me off in a couple hours shortly after this video. Um, that's a different story for another time. But basically, KVK, if you see that the uh, timer for when kingdoms change, like during the off period for KVK, and the kingdom time for when kingdoms change, and the kingdom timers are matched up in the same, that means you're getting new opponents. If it's not the same, that means you're going to have the same opponents. Um, that's a general rule of thumb. That would really help you. Um, and then, if you have good terms with the kingdoms, it's highly advised to maintain those good terms. Don't screw them up. If you have good terms the way they are, don't change anything. Um, why would you want to open up communication with someone who is very stingy but at the same time, you're on good terms with because you don't talk to him. And you talk to other people around him. Don't screw that up for your kingdom by thinking you're going to be okay going out and making friends. That's how you get us killed. I have a pretty good relationship with a kingdom, with a C40. And I've got some other people who, they're going to be king next. And they think it's a wonderful idea to go ahead and start communicating with that C40 to become friends with him. Although, I don't talk to the C40. Not at all. Um, the, I talked to him once. You guys probably saw that video. It was a while back. We have the same kingdoms uh, as last month. So, it's about a month old now. Guy was a complete douche. Basically, told me if I don't work with him, he would kill me. And if I do work with him, he will get me killed. I um, ended up not working with him. But then, the week... And after, after we had already won our KVK, um, worked out a deal with his teammates. They got him to agree on it, and then we had a three-way peace deal with all the kingdoms. And that worked out really well. <coughs> as soon as this KVK started, and it was just us two and a new kingdom, we immediately made a peace deal, told him that we would help him take over the other kingdom, and it worked out really well. Why would you try changing that? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know that saying? I don't understand some people sometimes. So, that's just that. Hope you guys enjoyed this little kill event video. Um, definitely not KVK. This is kill event. My targets are all shielded. That's no fun. But, you know, it was first time stretching my legs out in a while. That's pretty much all I participated in for Kill Event. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with all the latest videos. This is Cap Cowboy.